good morning and welcome probably well almost the afternoon by now um so yes i i really don't know anything about outer wilds by the way genuinely right let's get started then so welcome indeed everyone welcome to a bit of outer wilds so first impressions here we go wake up What the hell is that? Hello. Ugh. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Launch what? What are we launching? Why are we in the forest? What the hell was that that just exploded in orbit? Okay. Huh. <laughs> uh, not having second thoughts, are you? Uh... Where the fuck am I? Oh shit, there's a person. Mika. Are you the same species as that other thing? Slate said you're blasting off in the ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going into, uh, gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. So is this like a, a juvenile version of the same alien species? Yeah, nice shoes. Nice socks. Fly model ship. Okay. Oh wow! Okay. Ah. <laughs> so that's what I'll be flying, is it? What's this? Ah. Oh wow. Hornfuls, Gossen, Feldspar, Esker, and Slate. Feldspar was the first Harthian to be intentionally launched into space. <laughs> they completed the first orbit around Timber Half and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Atle Rock. Hmm. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Namai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. So we have those ruins over to the... is it to the east, I think? Coming soon future site of our next exhibit. If you enjoyed your time with the Outer Wilds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Our quest to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you profusely for your support, and we hope to see you again soon. So what's this game about, Tank Boy? I'm not really sure yet. It seems to be a super atmospheric adventure type thing where I'm wandering, wandering around as a young um, astronaut as part of this alien race that's about to go up into space. It's very Kerbal meets Oddworld so far. So how does this work, I wonder? Oh well. Untranslated Nomai writing. Hole. Cassava. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Atle Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. They were searching for something. The design of the technology as well. Taped together. Like 80s tech. Like, yeah. Tape recorders and shit. Kind of cool. Uh, this crystal was taken from a Namai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion. Try it out. Ooh. I see. It's not bending me towards the object, it's pulling me to whatever so so uh, whatever surface it's placed on. Okay. If the star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Well, they've got loads of time. I mean, that, that process is going to take hundreds of millions of years. Many, many millions of years. If they found alien technology, then that's even more likely to let them escape by the time that that happens. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. Hang on, another name. Dark Bramble. Creepy. Yeah, the game's got a great atmosphere. Oh look, what's that thing? Where's my uh... wrong frequency? No, that's the guy whistling. 
And that's the harmonica on that strange looking world. What the fuck is that? Is that a space station? I wonder if that's Dark Bramble, maybe. Uh, the strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observations. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree that the effect is extremely creepy. What? Okay. What? No, I don't like that. No, stop that. Stop that, please. You behave. You be a normal rock. Piss off. <laughs> I don't like the creepy rock. You stay in here. Don't you be following me or some shit. Whoa, shit the bed. Whoa, okay. Didn't mean to press that. Ah. Giant's Deep. The Hourglass Twins. Brittle Hollow. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Well done. Well done, four-eyed alien race. Well then, looks like uh, that's all that's left. Uh, sorry, all that's left is to send you off. Uh, all in all, it's a fine day for a launch. <laughs> I'm ready to die in space. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Uh. What just happened? Uh, guys? The statue is alive. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Tefran. Hey, yo. Hello, astronaut. Are you going into space today? Are you into? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspur did? He never came back. The first astronaut never came back. What? Uh, yeah. Hornfell says that Feldspar went away into space and didn't come back. Hornfell probably shouldn't be telling you stuff like this. Hornfell says that too. Thanks, I think, Tefra. You stay safe. Ooh, can I? Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's been ages since I've had a roast marshmallow in real life. Ha! Ah. Fuck, stop. No! Ah! Right. Wish me luck then. Here we go. Okay. Do I hold it down and keep going all the way up? I guess so. Ah. Gotcha. We can match the velocity of objects as we... Oh god, am I falling into the sun? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think I might be falling into the sun right now. <laughs> uh, can we go back home? Sun hot. Fire indeed hot. Then match velocity. Uh, quickly, please. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> shit! Shit, 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 Oh god almighty! Oh god almighty! <laughs> Oops! Um... Sorry! Sorry! I, I, I cocked up. So, in effect, they just saw me fly up, disappear, they saw a new comet appear next to the sun, and then they saw me collapse back to Earth really quickly, and almost crash into their houses. Okay. Where are we now? <laughs> Perfect landing. Another one of these ponds. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No. I don't like these creepy rocks. But don't look at them. No, oh, you can piss off. Fuck off. I don't like this. I'm out. Fuck that. No, 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 no. No. We are not going here. No, you can fuck off. Whoa. What's that? Why is that big? What the fuck is that? Hello, Hatchling. I uh, thought you were talking... Uh, sorry, taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Well, I did go into space and then I crashed again. So what is it? 
Don't know what it is exactly. Looks like some kind of plant seed. Uh, but it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before. So from Dark Bramble, so that world? Is it covered in shit like this then? It looked weird from orbit. Try the signal scope. Oh. What the fuck? The harmonica. Okay. Let's go. What the fuck? What? Oh shit. Oh shit. What the fuck? Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ship fueled and ready to go. Did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep. But that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out in the SARS the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Okay. We've gone back in time. The star just went supernova on us, as the observatory explained. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Me too. We're not sure why they've opened, since no one actually saw it happen, but this is huge news. It's not a statue, is it? It's a recording machine. Or maybe it's a bit like the rocks. Maybe it's only a statue when we see it. Maybe that is an Omai. So what is that wreck? Whoa, shit the bed. Oh, God. Oops. Uh, mm. <laughs> Maybe I should watch where I'm walking. Oh, let's think again. Look. Three eyes, three slots. <laughs> oh, wow. It even shows you exactly what you did. It's not just like a generic recording. You're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise I'd be super dead. Are we trapped in a time loop? No, stop doing that! Stop it, stop it, stop it! I don't like it, that's not nice. Fuck the crew. better not be a board. I'll shit myself. <laughs> Campfire? What the fuck? Am I dying? What the fuck? How is he breathing? Uh, hello. Hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me they were launching. Long time no see. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here, uh, raising saplings from timber half and keeping an eye on things. Don't go. Uh, I mean, uh, is there anything else you wanted to ask? Oh, poor Eskar. I'll talk to you later. Oh no. Is it happening again? I think it's happening again. No, 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 no. the Namai ruins? Oh, hello. What's that? Maybe I'm supposed to direct that ball down this, maybe? So, untranslated Nomai writing. Uh, Coleus, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it can hear the fol- uh, it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant's deep and brittle hollow. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. This is a curious result, says Thatch. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. 
Where, uh, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The, south the southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. The recording. Is this chert again? Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself? It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. So I'm the first Harthian to have a translator for this text. I wonder if I can operate the locator? Would it do something? Searching the planets? Is that giant... Whoa. Giant steep. Through there. Burning. Fire. Hot springs. Or just regular springs. Oh wow! Is this gonna kill me? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. That, that seems like a really bad idea. Ow. Okay. Mining site 2B. Can you be quiet? Thank you. You too, shut it. Right. Whoa. Here we go. Oh no. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Ash Twin? What's Ash Twin? Hourglass Twin is the name of the planet that near the sun, not Ash Twin. Cycad. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? I mean, look, they didn't leave, did they? There are corpses of them here. They probably would have left behind a lot less. Psychad says, if they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they planned a core... A core dingley? What? I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns. Accordingly. Oh, accordingly! I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Really? The ancient aliens are making puns. And those puns are clearly so advanced that they go over my Harthian cranium. So they were people. These were actual people. I had my doubts. I thought they were... I don't know. I figured that they might be AI. I wondered if perhaps that statue that we found is in fact a Nomai. In the sense that it was a machine. But no, there are physical bodies of them. And they're, they're making puns and writing on walls. It died whilst eating? Why would it die whilst eating? Here. Okay. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure that there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. Were they containing something here? Sealing it off entirely with no entrances. And it wasn't considering us. Think about it. When they're talking about before we'd even evolved. They were talking... They weren't talking about um, Timber Half as, as though people were still here. So were they, were they hoping that they could just bury something in the solar system? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Uh-uh. Was that just in my head, or... Machines, maybe? AI? Indeed, only a handful of them were active. The rest were switched off. More pieces of the puzzle. But I cannot yet see the picture. What the fuck is that in the middle of? That's not what I think it is, is it? Is that a singularity? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy fucking shit. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's terrifying. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, God, okay. What? What just happened? 
shit, is it coming apart? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me right now. You're kidding me. No, 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 Back up. Did the crust just come apart around a black hole? Jesus, I don't even I don't even want to look at it. It weirds me the fuck out. I don't like it. Let's find Rai back. I'm scared. I want a hug. Hang on. I see. I see some trees. Is this a landing site? Can I squeeze in? Oh Jesus. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh no. I get really nervous. Right, Beck. The fuck are you doing here? What are you wearing? Hello. Oh, you launched. That's great. Good, great job, you. Wow. I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Dude, you're playing a banjo around the accretion disk of a black hole. How are you not shitting yourself? What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? There's also this big dome to the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I've tried. But uh, if, if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust. Okay. Is it in a decaying orbit around the black hole? Oh wow, the text even bends as it goes around. So I'm guessing the black hole was maybe their power source. You can use black holes as power sources. Well, as a power source, so long as you surround it by mirrors. Maybe it was originally contained. Jesus, the Namai must be incredibly powerful to harness a black hole. Did I get stuck there? Oh, oh, no, 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 I don't want to fall on that. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? Where is it? What is that? And the front of it, it looked a lot like that fish thing. You know, that angler fish that we've got in the museum as we flew through with the teeth and the little light on its head and everything. Um, I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside? Hmm. This is going to be a chore to chop up, and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? I think you're going to need more than a few axes. What's that there? Uh, autopilot, why are you flying towards the sun? Uh, engage autopilot back to timber. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, what the... I'm blaming Slate for that. Slate put the autopilot, which flew me directly into the sun. You bastard. The autopilot. <laughs> There's actually an option. The game developers put in an option. That's amazing. The autopilot flew my ship directly into the sun. What a twat. And your marshmallows suck! I see. Surface integrity, 100%. Can I see myself? Hey! That's me! Cool! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ugh. A rickety platform over a black hole. Are you kidding? Ah! Oh, okay. Does that come, come apart? 100% integrity. We're okay. Still has power. Does this contain something?
What are these? Launching Escape Pod 3. Escape Pod 2. Now launching Escape Pod 1. Alert. Collision imminent. Prepare for impact. Begin flight log. Escape Pod 1. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Quickly move the ball. Oh shit. Straight into the black hole. Shit, shit, shit. I presume no longer alive. But the rest are here. These are no my, aren't they? These are cryopods. The two above were the ones that escaped. Look. They cycle forward and release the Namai. Indeed, wait, those cryopods are very small. I thought the Namai were big. Maybe they're not cryopods. If they're cryopods, then why would they leave them behind? No, ah, no, 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 Oh, I don't want to... No, I don't like this now. This is probably scaring me. I don't like it. Sorry, it's giving me the willies. Am I going to walk on the ceiling above a fucking black hole? Above me, just staring at me. Here. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered whilst aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No, no, my clan has ever encountered anything like this. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe? Imagine what, what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We might find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round, with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Shit. That must be the vessel. The eye called to them. This is this represents the eye, just without the pupil. They followed the signal and were attacked. They were attacked by something with thorns. It surrounded the vessel. Contained it? Attacked it? Destroyed it? Three escape pods were launched. One was captured and caught. The remaining two escaped. One to Brittle Hollow. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's really unnerving. I don't like that. Okay, just focus. <laughs> Sorry, I'm genuinely fucking... Hmm. There's no more. There's no more path. It's been destroyed. I was too slow. Damn. Indeed, high sex game where the floor is lava, except the floor is a black hole. Okay, okay. Right. Okay. Okay, as quick as I can. Don't waste time. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's pretty. Okay, so where did they go? They went beneath the floor of the observatory. Over there. Okay, here we go. Nah. <laughs> okay, we're just casually walking on the ceiling above the scariest thing the universe. Ah, oh no! Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh shit, what the fuck? I've got to go on the wall now? Okay, it's fine, we're fine, see? Fine, fuck me, I don't like this. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 
I also don't like heights, by the way, even though I know it's a computer game and all that. Still. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> oh, i got the willies. Oh, samples maybe? Of whatever thorn thing attacked the ship? Oh god. These, they're young. Children in a classroom. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> um, as this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to <laughs> sorry, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Elex, why we should build a new vessel. Elex, it probably wouldn't be hard to get the parts if we stopped building other new things, and if we broke down other structures like the towers on Ash Twin for parts. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large. It would also help if we stopped building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. Each Namai clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. Namai are wanderers and have no permanent home. Sounds sad, really. If we build a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous way of life. How long were they here? Oh no! My ship! No! Bugger! Black hole just ate my ship. Oh, wait a minute. Ship. What? what? Weird. Engaging auto. Ah, what the fuck? Damn it! Slate! Ah. I'm blaming Slate for this. It's stupid autopilot. It's bullshit. What happened to kill them all at once? In their beds, in their homes, just playing with their toys. All of them. What is the eye of the universe? Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. The eye is older than this universe. They have no idea, they're just guessing. It could be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. That's it? But they've been here a long time. They didn't learn anything? How could they arrive and set up a city and then not learn anything beyond imagine the possibilities and then just sit here to die? Or maybe they just never updated their writing. Maybe they did find the eye and whatever it is was hostile to them. And it's simply that they never got further. By virtue of the fact that they're now all dead. Yeah, but whatever it was happened quickly. Very quickly. They didn't even have time to take cover in doorways. They died where they stood. Solanum. I no longer believe, as I did as a child on the Ember Twin, that the Eye of the Universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that, circumstance. I suspect, uh, I suspect imagining we are special to the Eye in some way is wishful thinking, or it might not have been calling out at all, and that my ancestors heard the Eye's signal holds no great, sorry, heard the eye signal, it holds no great deep meaning. That wouldn't be so bad, I think. Sorry? Ancestors. Ancestors? Ancestors. Why did you use the word ancestor? Yes. How long were they here? There we go. I just walked here from White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Really? 
What does that mean? Other side of its black hole? What the fuck? Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. Although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. I beg your pardon? Jump through a black hole? How do you do that without turning into jam? Nothing escapes a black hole. Nothing escapes a black hole, sir. Travel through the black hole? Are they mad? I choose to believe that they have been here too long. They've gone a bit doolally. See? He agrees. Yeah. See? The symbol. The symbol I keep seeing when I die. It's on the head of this golem thing with feet and sandals and a robe? A deity? An AI? Did they wear fa did they wear face masks? Can't be. I would have found them. Felix, has anybody observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Thatch, imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Now, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna quickly switch it that way in case it's a case of holy fucking shit run. Bells, be welcomed to this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon... Oh, they could make their way there. Ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Did the Namai just have like no fear of heights or some shit? There's surface access. Hang on. Okay. There is surface access. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will uh, within will help you on your journey. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander around freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien. If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behaviour, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant or my brain must be. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in this same eerie way. Hypothesis. This rock shard, the, the rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Oh shit, it's one of these. There are smaller examples of this dotted around uh, Timber Hearth. No, you stop doing that. Don't you do that, Rock. It's done it again. It's it's moved. Stop. If I turn my back, are you going to move? Are you going to behave? Are you going to be a tree? Just be a tree. Oh, fuck you. Now don't move. Stay there. Ah, okay. You're the thing making the noise. It exists in multiple different places at the same time. Look. Look at those other markers. Indicating that it's over there now. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other objects we've observed displaying this quantum behaviour is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behaviour and this grove are related. Are all of those other shards and this one actually all the same shard, including the moon? Just appearing in different locations? Look. Is it all physically the same shape, just changing size? Uh, there it goes. The whole tower, everything. Everything that am I built. Including that creepy rock. Pulled into a black hole forever. What happens if I attempt to land? Surely I'll die. Yeah, this is stupid. Wait, is it stupid? Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh, it's water. Wait a minute. 
Oh, that's creepy. What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Okay. It's just an extremely dense... Whoa. Whoa. Wow. 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 Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Giant steep where the statues sleep. Ah. And here's Gabro. I'm told by the others that he's a bit weird. Hello, Gabro. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So, hey, no, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Wait, he's aware, aware of it too? What about you? Have you died lately? Or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. How are you not freaking out? What the fuck? You're taking this pretty well. Hey, right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences, but I've never been in a, t in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've ever been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. God damn, what the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck? What's happening? Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck? What just happened? Huh? What's going on? I'm in zero G? Uh, dude? Uh, what? Dude? Why aren't you panicking? Oh! Oh god! <laughs> did, did we just go through the middle of... Oh god, this is terrifying. I don't like this. Um, what's up with this planet? Ah, I know, right? Oh, you meant, like, tell me more about it? I got you. Well, Giant Steep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I've tried everything I can think of to get past that current. Neither idea worked. Everything you can think of, neither idea... So two ide You've had two ideas. <sighs> what are you doing here? Ha, <laughs> what are any of us doing here, really? Nah, I'm kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. He says, amongst huge cyclones the size of the atmosphere. Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask. The statue's counterpart, which will be able to send the, those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. I've seen those masks on their drawings. That's one of their masks. I've seen it before. It's not referring to the time loop, it's referring to backing up memories and restoring them, isn't it? To the statue, to the Ash Twin project, maybe, and then back again, in a loop. Have they accidentally damned themselves? Trapping themselves for all eternity in a loop, going crazy, unable to die. What is the Ash Twin project? Why would they suddenly care about that so much on arriving at this system? They came here searching for a signal, following a signal. They were attacked by something, some sort of thorny something. And then when they arrived here, they decided to stop what they were doing and start building something around the Ash Twins? What? What would necessitate such a huge deviation? No, oh, this again. Two. There's three of them. So maybe they're not AI after all. Those eyes looking at me are maybe the surviving Nomai. 
trapped in whatever their project is. Unable to do anything, maybe? Let's go back and talk to Gabbro. See what he thinks. Whoops. What am I doing? He's not here. Whoop. Hey, if it isn't my time, buddy. How's space treating you this loop? How can you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously. I meditate. Want me to teach you? I'll. It'll be in the next loop before you know it. Yeah. Okay, close your eyes. Really? 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 We just closed our eyes and died. Dude, that doesn't help. We're trying to figure out how to escape the time loop, not relax and just do another time loop. So I've reached the inside of Statue Island. So the Namai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I can see the Namai doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. You think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember that one that one on the beach looked at me funny. That must be my memory friend. Okay. Right, let's go check out some of the other islands here then. What is this place? This is it, isn't it? We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. Orbital probe cannon? To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avens behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. <laughs> Cassava. Conoy, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire Construction, sorry, Spire constructed a model of Giant Steep here in Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it revealed how an object might sink below the current. It's tracking the precise time that we saw that explosion. I'm, I'm sorry, what do you mean successfully launched? Your probe exploded. Your orbital probe cannon exploded. The text is updating live, isn't it? 16 minutes, 30 seconds ago. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's giant steep, isn't it? This is the bridge of the cannon to communicate with anybody out there. If I'm physically seeing that, then it's not in my head. As in, hang on. That means the other one. I'm looking at the storage devices, aren't I? Inside the Ash Twin project. They're not AI, are they? So I'm looking at the blue lit storage devices, the masks, right? Inside the Ash Twin project. So three of them were lit up. Does that mean that three statues are activated? If three statues are activated, and we've located two. Who's the third? Who's the third statue? Someone else is, is aware of the time loop. But there's someone else. Someone else knows. 22 minutes and zero seconds. Oh, the star just went nova. So it goes nova on every 22 minutes. Why? Why is the probe explode? firing now so many questions we open our eyes to see something flash in the sky a blue light floats away from some sort of a ship okay we're fine we're fine we're fine we're fine no 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 no
Shit the bed. What the fuck? Huh? Oh, what? What is that? What is that? What the fuck has happened? How am I not dead? Where am I? I thought I was gonna die. It's not a black hole? I was supposed to be ripped apart. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. Okay. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Oh. Huh. A fast travel system that they set up. So what happens when it lines up fully? Does like a platform glow? Does this platform glow? Oh, oh, oh okay, whoa, shit. Okay, whoa. Oh, okay. I figured it out. I was right. I was bang on the money. My first guess. <laughs> Holy shit. My first guess was on the money. It is a transport system. It's for moving mass, which is why it was outside the mine on Harthian. It's to move mass between the individual projects of the Namai. Okay. So they're using the black hole to move mass around the solar system. Clary, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just walked here from the White Hole Station. Have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run full diagnostics and hopefully locate the problem. Rami and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from White Hole Station. Pi. As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped onto the teleporter? The implications are absurd. She's kindly helping me attempt to recreate the phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke. Sorry, Pi talking to Poke. The High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. Okay. Maybe the results of these experiments on the Ash Twins resulted in the Ash Twin project. Because they certainly abandoned, or seemed to abandon their search for the... For whatever the eye of the universe was the moment they got here. Okay. Yeah, just, you know, casually, just, you know, over the top of a quantum singularity. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, shit. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Okay, we're here. I've done it. An update. It's now clear that there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the water and below the current. And I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> Solar System and the Ash Twins, it appears. That's very cool. Black holes and banjos. There, there, there it is. That's the symbol of the Eye of the Universe, whatever it means. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. The moon. So what if we try to find the eye uh, visually instead? Let's stand up, send out a probe. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would... Oh no. No, you didn't. You idiots. I know what they did. That's what the Ash Twins project is, isn't it? 
it's a time loop. It resets time, and then they launch the probe every time in a random direction, giving themselves the time to potentially find whatever this thing is. They trap themselves, didn't they? They trap themselves in an endless time loop, hoping that one day they would find it. Can I just say how imp uh, how sort of impressed I am by the game's overall... It, it's, it, I mean, it's hard to describe. It feels like it's just like stuff like this, just little details like liquid solar system being made. All those little clever details that they're putting in really gives it a sense of... I don't know. Gives it a sense of soul. Hold on to your butts. Whoop! Whoa, holy shit. Oh, wow. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? Hello. What is that? I don't like that. I'm not happy now. I don't like that. I don't want to go near that. The same electricity that's traveling across the surface is touching these jellyfish. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Oh god. Oh god. We died? I've never seen that before. <laughs> so, whatever fell to the core of the planet won't let me go near it. Whoops. Here we go. Ready? No! No! Piss, fuck, piss, I'm going to die. Well, not really. Ah. Ooh, whoa. Mm, up a bit, up a bit, up a bit. Oh, no! <laughs> I just brained myself on the side of the Namai ruin. This thing gets destroyed quite quickly, so we don't have long. Okay, so we need to learn what we can about the quantum moon. Unbuckle. Is that us? Whoa, we're going. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, here we are. Damn. Shit. Bells. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and you're ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you just as it carried me and many in our clan before me to the moon's sixth and most secret location. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the poles, sorry, the moon's north pole. Be curious on your journey. The shrine? Bells, if you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, I'm almost out of time. You are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to this star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between those two groups of survivors. These Namai looked upwards from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. And it was this, this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find any, sorry, find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamt of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomai, Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. of the universe is above this? Wait, the quantum moon? Is that the eye of the universe? It can go there. Was it the secret the whole time? The sixth location. Ooh, 
So one of the planets has been entirely hollowed. Look, all the way to its core. Okay. We should find church. Okay. What the fuck? Is that some sort of liquid that's being pulled from it? Hello, church. Oh, it's you. I take it it's your first launch. Well then, welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. Hornfell noticed our star charts are out of date, so I came out here to update them. But something seems... how to put this... off. I've seen, what, 10 supernovae by now? 12? They're in the double digits now, and that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. Oh, am I right? Holy shit, did, what, as in he's looking at the stars. Fuck, did I put two and two together and get it right? So stars are going supernova way more than they should be. Oh, that's so bad. That's so fucking bad. How long have we been in the time loop? Millions of years? Frankly, I'm worried and a little scared. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? On a scale of one to dead, I give it a seven or an eight. Awfully pretty though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin. But I, uh, but did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Does it? Have you not noticed the huge Nomai Towers on Ash Twin? Wait a minute. This wasn't full of sand a minute ago. Oh wow, is it rising? How cool is that? Hang on. <laughs> Oh, we're so close to the sun, I could probably just cook it by <laughs> pointing at the sun. There it is. That's their distress beacon. Signal identified. Escape pod 2. Escape pod 3 did not successfully escape the world of Dark Bramble. Now, I theorise that these were perhaps cryopods? I figured that these ones were still occupied, but I guess they're empty. One by one, the crew dismounted via this rotating system, I think. Melloray. Uh, we have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct long-term shelters there. The cavern Melloray found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark, could one of you mark the direction for the others to follow? Collius, this is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. This way? No, I... what the fucking hell? Read the instructions again. Opening above them. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh. Your skill. Oh god. Ah, okay. I'm gonna run out of oxygen. I really hope there's. There we go. Is there air in here? Ah, yes. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to this solar system. But is that good? Dad told me lots of Namai died when our clan came here. What if the Eye wanted that to happen? What if the Eye isn't something good? Oh. Oh. Are these the storage devices? The masks. Could these be the storage devices that they've got in the center of the uh, Ash Twin project? There could be the memories of a Nomai in there, maybe. Depends if they're linked to a statue. A while ago, I perhaps theorized that since the signal from the eye came from before the universe, apparently, that perhaps it was an attempt at life exten extension. Maybe they transferred their minds over to the Ash Twin project in order to ride out the next Big Bang, maybe. If that's true, then that would explain the time loop. Speed things up a bit, I guess. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. They pinned their entire clan's hopes on it. And they had no idea what it was. Should we build the Sun Station to power the Ash Twin project? Sun Station. Yarrow. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes, says Pi. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. Rami, I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built. 
if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the Sun Station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe, if we're cautious, the Sun Station will work. I believe in Pi. I think we figured out why the star's exploding, eh? Maybe we can fix it. Maybe we can fix it. <laughs> Sorry, for, for a minute there, I thought it was going to lunge at me. It's fine. It's dead. <laughs> oh, I just think it's scared you can't. I'm fine. Oh. Oh, shit. Wait. 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 I've never seen one of their suits. And it's wearing the mask. It's physically wearing its data storage device. The rest of it's decomposed inside the suit, no doubt, but I've never seen that. I recommend you do. The Whitehall Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project, so a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose, more precisely, I would like to visit the Whitehall Station with you, Clary. I'd be happy to explain our, explain our findings. Yarrow, stop using this scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, her density rivals a neutron star. And go meet her on the White Hole Station. <laughs> and then they fucked. But we're stuck in a... No, don't you dare. No, 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 don't you do no 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 Oh shit the bed. Uh uh can we Don't you eat me! Oh no, okay. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. If I get killed, I'm blaming fucking um fucking what's his name? Slate for this. We're fine. See how fine we are? Blind and stupid. And where? I have a marker for my scout. I know. Oh, wait. I'm following my ship. No, I am blind and stupid. Fuck. I'm blind and stupid. Chat, I'm blind and stupid. Okay. Holy shit. This, this dev is really clever. Holy shit. Yeah, that's what they meant. That, that's what the hint was for. Fire your light. Follow your marker. Or physically see the light, because it's dark in there. Little fish now has to wear a blindfold. And do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pi says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rules stand. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear blindfolds when they're it. The rest of us will still, still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. Melloray. Anglerfish study. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it used this growth to attract play, prey. Allure. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. Okay, the symbol of one of their transportation systems. They are warp cores. Mounted into the floor. Oh. I see. Simply demonstrating, or well, testing, I guess, for their warp travel capabilities. What's shown? No, my arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow, very slightly before departing from Whitehall Station. Rami and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. In theory, 
What we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsed between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. So they recreated time travel for the first time. Here. They're humming. Okay. Probe is still flying by the time it escapes from the hole. So they proved that time travel is possible. Now what do they do with that information? Rami, the Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. Rami and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. The Ash Twin project is an attempt to recreate time travel. But it sounds like they were doing it purely on a lark. Why 22 minutes? That's what we're stuck in, a 22 minute time loop. So they were setting up a 22 minute interval on the request of the observatory over at Brittle Hollow. And I presume the Brittle Hollow Observatory made that request because of their pro. But it hasn't been directly link linked, I'm just inferring that. Really? Ooh. Wood planks and... Oh no 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 Come on! Oh, come on! Slate! Oh, come on, Slate. Slate! Oh, your autopilot is wank, Slate! Oh, my God! <laughs> okay, so... This planet, according to... I think it was Chert, one of our explorers. Whoa. He said that this planet was originally a different planet that was broken apart by that. Whoa. Almost like a, a central seed has grown, stretching its roots up into the crust of the planet. similar red light to the one that I saw in the center of Giant's Deep and white lights. Could these be the anglerfish? We found fossils with something similar, didn't we? There. It's impaled by one of the thorns. Damn, I don't have long. A few moments at best. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Escape pod beacon identified. That's it. Whoa. What am I looking at? It's another one of those central petals, like the one that we saw tech type back on Timber Hearth was investigating it. Oh god. Oh god, no. I know what I'm looking at. Their bodies, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The survivors from the pod. They were wearing those suits, wearing those masks.
to anyone who comes here searching for us. We followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now we can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed, yet the opening is too small for even the si a single Nemai to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. They didn't manufacture them as part of the Ash Twin project. All of them wear them. What is that? That's the vessel itself, isn't it? I see. So the vessel is somewhere else, and this thing was just broadcasting the signal through it? Whoa, holy shit! Whoa, okay! Hello! Hello, there's something alive in here. Hi! No, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, we're not going in there. Fuck that shit! Fuck that shit! I'm staying out here! Wait a minute, what? <coughs> okay, um... I, I don't want to be its friend. Through Tektite's... Crater. The first Harthian astronaut. Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's ever come in here. Well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done! What the fuck? You're alive! Feldspar, you're alive! Ah, you never were the brightest hatchling, were you? <laughs> yes, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, you know, crashed violently. Um, shit, I've got much to talk to you about. Uh, where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anyway, it's good, but you should know that space is weird here, intensely. Ever tried throwing your scout into one of those weird seeds? See there, with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you that the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space doesn't work right in here. That sea looks small, see, but inside it's bigger. Much bigger. Giant's deep core, huh? Ah, well that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I- oh shit. I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Quick, 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 identify a signal. Wait, so he's not aware? He's not aware? Does he know what's happening? I don't think he's aware. Interesting. If he's not aware that we're stuck in a time loop, then he is not the wearer of the third mask. In a not literal sense. For those just joining, I've bought two separate bags of marshmallows over the last few days. This game is bad for my waistline. Again, sponsored by Big Marshmallow. I've no doubt. Whoa. That's one of the jellyfish that was at the centre of Giant's Deep. Same red glow. Whoa! -ho. Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Ugh, this thing tastes terrible. The outside of it was all rubbery and tough. Did you lick it? Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see what... <laughs> to see if what's in there tastes any better. Dude! 
Did you really boldly go where no Harthian had gone before just to lick shit? Note to Feldspar. Do not eat this, even if you're dying. It would be uh, too sad if this were the last thing you were to, uh, were to ever... Sorry, last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Sorry, he left a note to himself not to eat something. Insulate you from electricity. Okay. So you've got to get inside... There was a jellyfish that was touching the outer core of Giant's Deep. You gotta get inside it as it lowers itself down into the core? Ugh. Oh! No, 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 no. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Master alarm. Stop, 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 stop. No, stop going beep, beep, beep. Oh, bugger! Oh, crap. <laughs> Uh, okay. We're just gonna have to do without the ship this one, aren't we? This Am I meant to just evade the tentacles? Maybe? Oh, wow. Really, game? <laughs> oh. This game's developer's great. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Ah! There's still oxygen in here. After all this time. Giant Steep firing a probe. Receiving data from probe. 9,318,089. Visualizing current trajectory of probe 9,318,000. What the fuck? Okay. Holy fucking shit, though. Sorry, either way. That means this loop has been going for at least that long, assuming that's just the first data set. Okay. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched, 9,318,089. Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe, 9,318,000. Oh, hang on. So it found it? Or on that, on that single journey, hang on. Found by probe, I see, one single probe, not number of times. I don't know what that is. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. No, my writing? So it found... It did find it. It sent the coordinates. So why did the Namai not do anything? Who is number three? This was the statue that is engaged. This is the third statue. I'm confused as to why... This this piece that I'm on didn't fall like a moment ago. This felt this this fell years and years ago. So surely they would have replaced this if this is the probe tracking module, they wouldn't have just left it down here at the bottom of the ocean. Right? They would have just built a new one. Wait, what's the big one? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. I see. Made to look like a... Of course. It was in front of me the whole time. Made to look like one of the whirlwinds. This is the Ash Twin project, isn't it? Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Enter this place without friends. However, these are lessons to learn for yourself. It's not part of the Ashtwin project? Whoa! I thought this was one of the towers that was going to be transmitting mass over to the Ashtwin project. 
Okay, is, every, is everything quantum in here? God damn it. Seek the wandering arch. And now the platform itself is wandering. Everything's wandering. The tree's wandering. You wandering. No, the light's not wandering. The light is my friend, see? The lights are my friends. Oh, God. Island Shard. Can you not? Stop it. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. You stay. Stay. Don't. I can't physically get up there, so you better fucking stay. Fuck you. Fuck you as well. Oh no, I'm leaving. I'm going to go check the other platform. Back in a second. Bye. Bye. <sighs> You're being observed. See? <laughs> I saw it. I outsmarted you. Oh. Is that how you... Can you move now? Oh, you can. What the fuck? Bastard stole my scout. You little bastard. Give it back. Twice. Chat, is this like super obvious and I'm just like thick? Chat says, yeah. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Bit. Don't lose track of it. Okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> I feel really smooth brained. Oh, there are only two. Oh, shit. I see. Oh, God. Okay. Hang on. Does that mean I need to only look at this one? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm up! I'm up! Fuck you! Oh no! Don't you do? Yes, 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 yes. But I'm out of time. The quantum moon. We offer our congratulations. You, you've learnt the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember the other quantum shards and other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on this journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. A picture of the quantum moon, beckoning, hands outstretched. No, I see the base of the tower. No. The no my were idiots. There's no two ways about it. They have no idea what the eye is. They started a temporal 22 second loop at the expense of a star, even though that this solar system has life in it. And they exceeded the structural capabilities of this cannon blowing it up in the process and either failing to restore its its probe recording module or having it fall straight into so knowing it would blow up having it fall into giant steep with no redundancy the ash twins project the two towers the cannon no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah, wild theory. Is the probe manned? The Ash Twin Project, the location where transmissions go back and forth, why would one go here if not for the probe being manned? Why would it come from the Ash Twins Project? No, tell me the probe isn't manned. Tell me it's automated. One, two, three. It was here. It broke off. Orbital probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control module intact. No structural damage. Launch module viewpoint window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module missing. It fell. It fell into giant steep and it's been doing that every single loop. 
meaning whoever's aboard that probe, if it is manned, if it is manned, has been stuck in an endless time loop for 390 years, unable to die. Oh yeah, I've got a horrible feeling that it's manned. Uh-oh, 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 <laughs> Um, okay, the landing was a bit too... Oh, hang on. What the fuck? I thought we died. I thought when the music cut out, we died. The ship died. Ah, we're fine. Hooray! Oops. Oh, piss. I wanted to read the ship's logs. Oops. Can I transfer myself to the Black Hole Forge? Or is the advanced warp core not here? And... Oh, I was correct. Oh, shit, the bed. Oh, okay. Okay, don't move. No, I need to move off the platform. Oh, crap. Okay. Be cautious near the boarding area while the Black Hole Forge is in operation. Right, be cautious of the boarding area ne next to the Quantum Singularity. Sure, sure, sure. Black Hole Forge is actually... Of course, damn, because the switch is over there, isn't it? That's annoying. So wait, does one have to travel to here, initiate the switch, go through the tele... Okay. Creepy. Practically return me? It does, because it's glowing. Here we go. And whoa, holy shit. Here I am. Okay, so the clever bastards did indeed make a smooth, fast travel system. Here it is. So... Against the edge of the black hole itself, they're using it to create warp cores. And... Whoop! Right, off the pad, off the pad, off the pad. Quick, hello. God damn, you guys design creepy buildings and ships. Ooh, so another statue, but its eyes are closed. Okay. Whoop. So, we're in the black hole forge. That, this one was holding the staff this time. Okay, what does it say? Root. Uh, where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? Clary. All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude, says Root. In this case, poke Clary. I'm leaving for delivery. I'm, I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly, says Clary. I'm going to catch up with Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Just make sure Yarrow, Yarrow receives it. Oh, of course you are, says Poke. <laughs> A couple of them were fucking... <clears throat> they were sneaking off to the uh, the White Hole... Um, what is it? The White Hole Station? For some nookie. Yes. Ah, is this transport back? What was that? What just went whoop? Something went whoop. So what does it say first and foremost? I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. <laughs> Everyone here... Sorry, I think they're supposed to be like romantic partner. Not, not, he's not like British. I'm intrigued, love. Um, everyone here is working on the Ash Twin project. Uh, sorry, everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it, love. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Oh. It's ready to be installed? No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry, love. <laughs> Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. In it. The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. The core's durability could be improved. They sent a potentially flawed advanced warp core to the Ash Twin project. This isn't the same one that went over to the cannon. So I'm not entirely so I'm not sure what the purpose of the Ash Twin project is yet. And I'm not sure what the purpose of the third mask is, unless it's just a red herring on my part and it's just like, you know, 
It communicates with Ashtwin. Done. My ship is... Oh, fuck ass. Warp tower always aligns with the centre of its corresponding astral body. The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. Okay, a diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding uh, astral body. Ah, so could I find this on every potential body? So I wonder if that diagram is there aboard the Black Hole Forge just to instruct me as the player as to what to look for. Because I can't imagine why the Black Hole Forge would have one of these. Okay, there you are. There you are. There you are. There you are. Okay, I got a picture of you. You can't move, you fucker. You're in orbit. And I don't need to. Good look. It's a, it's a thing that goes like wobbly woo. See? No! F Uh, are we flying straight into the sun? Uh, what the fuck? No, my. Why would you program your ship to fly straight into the sun? Are you dumb asses? Are you. But the moment I move, it's a disconnect from the ship. It's just gonna bog off. This isn't gonna work. Look, I'm gonna land. Even a gassy. It's just gonna disappear on me. What the? Oh, it... <sighs> I'm gonna take my walk of shame in a spacesuit. No. Could this be Solanum? Uh, not sure. What am I looking at? Looks like a piece of that rock system. Uh, like a shard in a cave. One of the Ash Twins? Ah, I think I was away for those lessons, miss. I know the first one, but not the second two. I am here, Salalem says. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors to the south pole. It's just that it's true. The universe is and we are. I am ready. No! Bugger! So some of the Nomai were aware that it travelled to the sixth location? Were all of them aware? Because they invested so much energy into finding this Eye of the Universe. Was there like a group of them that knew and the rest did not? Because they said secret. Why would they say secret? The most secret location. What the fuck? I thought it said it always welcomed us to the South Pole. Where am I now? But it is. I'm still on its south pole. The geography changes based on which, which planet it's orbiting? I don't understand. Right, we're in business. Picture? Okay, here we go everyone. Here we go. What is the eye of the universe? Here we go. Here we go. Still here. Who 
are you? You and I used the quantum moon to get to the eye? Explain the eye of the universe. Solanum. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behaviors because of its proximity to the eye. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believe it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. The moon's atmosphere reflecting the eye, but we cannot see it. Many in my clan have believed the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe this eye was malevolent, to have lured my clan to this star system only to have then vanished from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday. But I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not, entire, not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. I am Solanum, and am I. My clan arrived in this star system before my birth, and we now call it home. But your people are dead, all of them. I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Namai and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached... Too late. She, sorry, doesn't know. She's been stuck here. Is she wearing the mask? Is she the final activator of the statue or not? So, yeah, so we're learning that the quantum moon and the quantum shards, they're not producing the... It's the it's always been the eye of the universe that's producing the uncertainty effect. So, in multiple positions at the same time, only, only recorded when it is measured, only certain when it is measured. And Solanum said that their clan, they were considering trying to get someone in the eye? This is a very fucking cool game, though, I have to say, folks. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. Likewise. I uh, particularly admire your four eyes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. They never saw us. I think it's been millions of years, chat, in reality. I think their recording systems might be wrong. I think this loop might have been going for many, many millions of years for the stars to die and for a new species to evolve. And me. And then I do a sort of finger gesture where one goes into the... No, no. Um, we do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Yeah, fucking hell. On the edge of the fucking universe, with a, a, a rift torn above our heads, and I've been friend-zoned in this desolate place. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? Insanity. Every time you blink, the universe would change around you. Whoa! 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 What the fuck? What 
that uh, that is Solanum, isn't it? She's been dead for a very, very long time. Ah, death. Three dead Namai. It cannot move. It has been recorded. Now, all I have to do, I think, is switch off the light. And we're in a completely different part of the cave. Um, I wonder if it, I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My, my hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. What the fuck? That's creepy as fuck. Why is the statue standing up now? Statue bones. What the fuck? I don't like that. Is that a game bug? That is fucking terrifying. Never seen that before. Nah, I do not like this. You guys can fuck off. All three of you can fuck off right now. All three of you can fuck off right now. I'm getting out of here. You can stay here. I'm fucking off. Quantum, uh, quantum, can I get out of here? And if we enter the middle, we see this. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> so apparently they're blind. They hunt via sound. So does that just mean I float and shut the fuck up? Oh, oh, okay, okay, we're going, 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 we're going. Woo! Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Jesus Christ! Oh God! That's, that's some bullshit. Straight out of the fucking frying pan and into the fire. Jesus. Mm. Is it going to open its mouth though? Can it detect me? It can't detect me. It just heard me. Hi. Um, can I maybe fire the signal scope to get rid of you? Do you reset your position after a time? I'm gonna be in your mouth, okay. Okay, I'm more or less in its mouth. And it can't detect me because it's asleep. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, God Almighty! Holy shit! Okay, I think you found me. <laughs> Holy shit. got completely ensnared and impaled. The message, the translated message, read that the ship had been mortally wounded. From that I inferred that perhaps the ship was organic, but I'm guessing now that's purely a translation error. It's not organic. This is Eskel's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp and our vessel was mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... appears to have... has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. We... we are abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or spaceflight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. With an advanced warp core, they're able to initiate a jump wherever they wish to go. But their warp core broke when they crashed. That's why they couldn't move. So if I were to replace the warp core, 
and enter the correct coordinates, could I jump the vessel clear of this place? Could I enter the coordinates that I received from the giant steep probe that gave me the precise location of the eye of the universe? And if I could, why would I do that? That's not going to break the time loop. Go away. Ready? Ready? So, can I get through? The answer is maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, oh, I'm so good at this game. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't punch in my head. Whoa. I'm so good. And... Whoa, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, off the pad, off the pad, off the pad. Don't touch. Okay. Okay. 281,042 years ago. No user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. Six minutes and 43 seconds ago. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Holy sh... Is that the true length of the time loop? Or just when this was built and when they started their little project? Hang on. Whoa. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Well, gravity's low, but, uh... What? Okay. Am I making a jump? Is that what I'm doing? I'll never make it. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell, fucking hell. Oh, 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 oh no, no. Okay. Okay, no, it's fine. Oh, 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 okay. Up, 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 up. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Okay. Whoa. Someone's in the film Sunshine. Okay. Pi. Mission. Science compels us to explode... the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in the view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. They did it on purpose. Why? The fuck was worth it? Quickly. I don't have time. The star has reached end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage. Warning. Evacuate sun station. Approximate time until sun station is destroyed by expanding star, 2 minutes 26 seconds. Approximate time until star's death, 13 minutes 56 seconds. Hurry. Show me the Ash Twin Project. Show me, show me. One, two, three statues engaged. Me, Gabbro, and the third. Who's the third? Balance between the sun and the eye of the universe? What does that mean? No time. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we just start over? But I'm unsure how to start over. Return to Ash Twin first, says Yarrow. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching this star system that we'd like to investigate. Pi, I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? We're well, Yarrow, or as well as can be expected, given the circumstances. Though disappointed, I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I hoped our terrible work was finished. What the fuck were you doing? Here it 
it goes. So that they were trying to make the sun go nova. Is that to power the Ash Twin project? Is that what they meant? Is that the purpose of the sun station, I wonder? It's not to draw power from the sun. It's just to blow it up and harvest the energy from its... Or maybe the the Ash Twin project to harvest the energy from the supernova. They need a supernova's amount of energy for their project? What the fuck are they doing? What is this? What is that? Sorry, what does that actually do? Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. That answers that question. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit, we're right next to the sun, aren't we? Holy shit, 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 shit. Whoa, that's cool. That's so cool. So I just need to wait for it to get back into, uh... Yeah. To start orbiting the sun. Watch it lift up, presumably, and then just walk inside. And then get trapped underneath it. Oh dear. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, so it's not lifting up. The ice is melting? Okay. Get down, get down. Okay. Right. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. Holy shit. Ghost matter. God damn. Be careful. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Shit, 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 shit. Is that... That looks a lot like... Slow, slow, slow. Careful, 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 careful. <gasps> Ghost matter detected. Careful. Whoa, this is eerie. Holy shit, this is cool. Pick the right one, pick the right one, pick the right one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, hang on. The core of the interloper. No gravity. Whoa. Ghost matter is the interloper from all of these planets. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would be almost certain to be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing. Pi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything like this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. Uh, is the Ash Twin Project a shelter? As simple as that? Is the interloper the thing that's been causing the sun to explode this entire time? And they're not the architects of, it of its destruction. They purely wanted to shelter themselves from its eventual crash. Did it explode as they were observing it? He seems impaled. Okay. I need to get back to the ship. Don't have to worry about that now. So here's what I'm wondering. Is the interloper crashing into the sun when it goes at the end of its natural life? No, it's reaching the end of its natural life. It's not the cause of the explosion. 
Is the interloper crashing or doing something the cause of the death of the Nomai? Did it release an enormous burst of exotic matter across the solar system, which is why they're all dead where they stand? It's an extinction event. I'm looking at the remnants of their... Ex One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter, while the other rash rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. But they never made it, did they? Because they don't know about this. This is the thing that killed the Nomai. So does that mean the Ash Twin Project, its entire purpose was the time loop? That's it? Which means they never got around to launching the probe. Not even once. They just left it there, on standby. The whole thing is a... a complicated web of different contraptions ready to fire, and yet waiting for an event to do it, and the sun's natural death is the trigger. Which is why Solanum doesn't know who I am. Because we evolved in the prior 281,042 years. I think I've gotten everything. I think everything fits. So they never got to see any of this. They never got to see any of their... Any of their projects come to fruition? That's kind of sad when you think about it. They never answered the question. They never answered the main question, which they spent all of their energies to try and figure out. What is the eye of the universe? We have its coordinates. All we need now is an advanced warp core. We know there's one in the heart of the Ash Twin project. Can we grab it? Take it to their vessel, engage its warp drive, and travel, travel to the eye of the universe. So I guess the third statue was a red herring. Huh. Oh. Little bit disappointed there. I thought that would have been cool. I think I've got everything. I think all the pieces in my head have clicked together in the same place. In the correct place, I think. So are we going to go there? Wow. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh. Okay, uh, technically this counts as, as travel, but that's not what I wanted. Ugh. It functioned. It worked. To where? I'm right. I'm right. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Yeah. Okay. No, you can do it. Okay. My mistake. Okay. 20 minutes. And you got a minute and a half. Yarrow, today we finish the excavation of Ash Twin. Here, in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. Oh my god. There we go. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and it is at, at least... Sorry, it is... It at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power uh, to the Ash Twin. The Ash Twin project requires. Each cycle created by the Ash Twin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end the cycle at will. Is the sun station firing? These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We were only able to power it. Perhaps there's another way. The comet has newly arrived in this solar system. We're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. I thought that maybe the station, we could sabotage it, somehow stop it from happening. But the star has reached the end of its natural lifespan, hasn't it? We can't stop it. It's the natural death of the star. This is not triggered by the Namai. All this is doing is making us aware of it choice do I have? If I do this, the star's going to explode and we'll all die. There it goes. A supernova, a star at the end of its natural life. 
The energy is channeled into the warp core, which opens that. Why? What is that? Whoop. Death, that's it? That is the literal manifestation of the, of the time jump, isn't it? That singularity there. Come on, every second get... What the... What? What? Uh... What? You're me from the last loop? I think so. I started this current loop by popping out of a white hole inside the Ash Twin project. Information went back. I went back. I sent myself back in time. <laughs> good talking to you. Incredibly strange, but good. See you around. <laughs> this fucking game. Holy fucking shit. I'm about to break the universe because he can't jump. Oh, fuck it. Uh, ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we just screamed at each other. Um, into the compressed space. Switch on for the Nomai signal. Distress beacon, where is it? There you are. Let's go. Let go of the control. We float. Do not move until we're clear. Follow 2.2k. Don't move. Or core. Ship powered up. She's ready. Show me the controls. Navigation control engaged. Locked. We're on the edge of the solar system. That's the eye. surface of the eye. Trees detected. Ah. Outer Wilds Ventures was founded by Feldspar, Gossen, Slate and Hornfels to explore the solar system at the end of the universe. The Namai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe.
Even after all the stars and all the black holes have gone out, all the galaxies have faded away, there's one knobhead at the end of the universe <laughs> eating marshmallows. It's, um, it's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for the next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush, take your time. It might not even exist here. Look at Feldspar instead. Oh, Jesus! Okay, you can piss off. Hmm. Hello again, Solano. Hypothesis. Everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I believe we'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me. <laughs> Gabro? Are you still playing that flute? One second. Still at it. Even at the end of the universe. You and your bloody hammock. The second greatest astronaut now, I suppose. What do you say then? Should I get out the old harmonica? Yes. Here goes nothing. Rybeck? Well done. One of the bravest astronauts I ever met. Esker, if you're out of tune, I swear to God. That was beautiful. <laughs> and it all starts anew. New galaxy, new life form, new universe rather, new life forms, new planets, new stars, new black holes. <laughs> new stories. The eye of the universe was like a spark, I suppose. It was the, the spark of, of the universe, universe and then left over from its creation, and subsequently the spark of the next one. And it seems that the answer to the question that the Nomai dedicated their entire lives to try and figure out, what would happen when a conscious person entered the eye of the universe, the answer was, they would be witnesses. We got to witness the creation of the next universe, 
alongside our friends. Although the Harthians, they would have gotten super unlucky. A very old universe they evolved into with a star that was dying, naturally dying, so the Nomai had nothing to do with it in the end. Their death was entirely accidental and not within their control. And even though, yes, they were going to make the star go supernova, they didn't. They just died out and left their tool running. And by the time we figured out a way to escape it, it was already too late. If anything, they gave us the chance to slot in the final piece of the puzzle of their project to let us witness it at, uh, well, witness all of this. Without it, well, we would have still been in our huts back on Timber Hearth when it was destroyed. So that's kind of beautiful that the universe was brought into being this time, not through, well, I don't know whatever the eye would do, but we sang it into existence. Together. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Holy shit. Strongly recommend. <laughs> that's an incredible game. Yeah, that was pretty incredible. So in the end, we ended up caught in, I suppose, what we perceived to be a trap, but in the end was the final lifeline to the ability to become a witness to the next universe's creation. You think the game says the interloper crashed through the eye? Which is where it picked up the ghost matter. Uh, I'm not so sure. I mean, consider that anything that goes near the eye inherits quantum properties, and ghost matter wasn't being quantum, was it? I don't think so. I think it just flew in and killed them. Ghost matter doesn't pass through water, and the Harthians were aquatic. Ah. That would explain how they survived, and then evolved over the course of 281,042 years. If that's the way that our own universe will go out, being witnessed by at least somebody, I'm okay with that. Thank you for watching, everyone. This was Outer Wilds. I'm going to go listen to the soundtrack now. Ha ha ha.